In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool trick how to figure out what RPM a car shifts just by analyzing the audio in from the video itself. We're going to start with this file, VBOX002 uh, MPEG4 video that was taken at an airport runway event with some BMWs racing against each other. The reason I chose this video is because it also contains uh, data which captured the RPMs of the car onto the video, not only onto the video itself, but into a data log file so that we can look it up and see exactly where. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our video file in Sony Vegas. And then we're going to clip off the section of the video that we don't that we don't care about. We're going to start it right there. I'm going to split the video. That's how we clip it. And then we're going to split it right about there. We're going to delete this section. Then we're going to delete the beginning section. And then we're going to export just the audio into SoundForge. That's what the audio looks like. Uh, we're going to turn this into a mono file to make it easier to look at in our Spectrum Analyzer software. So I'm going to copy that section, just one of the channels and we're going to turn it into a mono file. I pasted it into a new file. Now we're going to save it. We're going to save it as RPM audio. Next we're going to open up the audio in a fancy spectrum analysis piece of software called Isotope RX Advanced. We're going to open up our RPM audio. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and figure out where those shift points are in this file. We're going to zoom in a little bit onto the audio. Uh, we're going to do that by starting at about 200 hertz, and then we're going to go to about 1000 hertz. And you can see it really opens up this file a little bit. Um, the lines that you see going across the screen are what's called the harmonics. The harmonics um, appear at multiple levels in the file um, at, various, uh, at various frequencies. Um, you can see where the shift points are. I will play it here and you can see much closer where the shift points are when you display it this way. You can even see where the blips on the screen are, where the throttle blips are. You see one there, and you see one there as well. Next, what we're going to do is we're go going to open up our VBOX file in Microsoft Excel. The VBOX is a GPS-based kind of telemetry device that captures uh, video, um, GPS speed data, and if you have the right hookups, it will also capture RPM and uh, steering angle, brake pressure, throttle position, uh, and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit of a trick to um, get the uh, to to open up the VBox file, even though it's not a proper um, type uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet. We're going to open it up as if it were. So we're going to look at the .vbo file. We're going to say open. And it's going to pop up the, with this menu saying, well, is this a delimited file? Well, we're going to say yes, it is, because in fact, 
it's really just has a bunch of uh, spaces in it to separate the data. So we're going to say yes, it's a delimited file, and we're going to uncheck the tab box. We're going to choose the space, and you can see each one of these fields will now uh, show up all by themselves, and we just click finish. And now the VBox file is right here. Uh, we are interested in column I. Column I is our RPM data. I'll expand it a little bit to see it, but it looks like it's an engineering notation. So we're going to convert that. We're just going to change it over to non-engineering notation by right-click on it, um, say Format Cells, and we're just going to say a number with zero decimal places because there's no fraction, and we're going to click OK. Now we've got the RPM data. So we're going to look at our shift points now. Um, first one looks like we came right up around here. Uh, the max RPM was at 8244. So that was our first shift point. Uh, that was uh, first high RPM shift point. That was between second and third gear. Then we shifted again third to fourth gear. Looks like we really shifted right around 8076 RPMs. But as you can see, we blipped the throttle and it sprung all the way up to 8600 within one tenth of a second. Our third shift point Looks like we uh, got. Looks like we shifted right around 79, uh, 62 RPMs, but the throttle blipped a little bit, and we got up to 84.99. So let's see if we can find those places in the spectrum analysis of the file itself. In this uh, example, we have a really nice strong harmonic of the motor at 15 times, um, or I should say 1 15th. Uh, of the RPM frequency. That would be the, the bottom of this highlighted area right here would be the uh, 1 15th of the RPM of the motor. So if we took the RPM of the motor divided by 15, uh, we should, if I did my math right, we should end up right here. The second shift point, the, that 1 15th harmonic, is right at this location right here. We can see the blip in the throttle. And again, the third shift point, the 1 15th harmonic, is right here in the screen that's nice and highlighted. So what we our three shift points were 82, 82 RPMs, um, 80, 76 RPMs, and 79, 62. So what we should be able to do is I'm just going to highlight a, an entire section of the screen right here. I'm going to break up my calculator, and I'm going to type in the RPM of the first shift point, which is 8282. I'm going to divide it by 15, and we get 552.15. Down here on the isotope window, our starting frequency of the highlighted area, we're going to type in 552.15. And sure enough, you'll see that's right dead center on that harmonic. We're going to do the same thing right here on this example as well. We're going to just highlight a whole area. That shift point was 8,076 RPM. So we are going to type in 8,076. We're going to divide it by 15, and we get 538.4. We're going to come down to our frequency window of the spectrum analyzer, and we are going to type in 538.4. And you'll see it's, again, pretty much dead center on with that, uh, that shift point and that blip of the throttle. The last one, last shift point we're going to do is we're going to look at this one right here. We're just going to highlight a whole big section just like we did before. And our shift point here was 7962 RPM. So we're going to type in 7962. And we are going to divide it by 15. And we get 530.8. So we take our 530.8, and again, we are right on the frequency of that shift point, of the RPM of the shift point. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can reverse the process and figure out what RPM a car shifted at just by looking at the spectrum data itself. We're going to use our same uh, 1 15th harmonic. When I do this, when I figure out where a car shifted, I usually try to pick the midpoint right in the middle of the, of the spectrum harmonic. 
So that seems to be right about the midpoint, right about there. So looking at the value down here in the, uh, the window of the uh, software, it says that we're at 554.22 uh, hertz. So we're going to pump that into our calculator and multiply it by 15. And it estimates that we shifted at 83.13 when in fact we shifted at 8282 which is what's that maybe 30 rpms off yeah about 30 rpms off pretty darn close next we're going to do it right here for the second shift point we're going to do the same exact process we're going to try and select the harmonic right smack in the middle of it and the uh, the frequency window tells us 535.03 so we're going to type in 535.03. We're going to multiply that by 15. And it comes up with 8025, when in fact uh, our actual shift point, the closest we could tell from the VBOX file, is 8076. So again, uh, only 50 RPMs difference there. Uh, pretty darn close. Last one we're going to do is this guy right here. We're going to repeat the same process, try to select uh, right about the midpoint of the spectrum. And it says the, the frequency uh, window tells us that we are at 525.54. So we're going to type in 525.54, multiply that by 15, and we get 7883 when in reality we were 7962. So again, that's about 75 RPMs off. It's it's pretty pretty close. Um, I I use this to just try and estimate. If I look at a video of a car and, and don't know where he's shifting, and you want to try and figure it out, this is the technique I use. I would I would estimate its accuracy is uh, plus or minus um, I would say 75 RPM. So there could be as much as uh, you know 150 RPM uh, variance. Uh, which uh, on a 8400 RPM car isn't very much. Uh, in this particular case, we saw that the first shift point, I was only off by about um, 30 RPMs. The second shift point, off by about 50 RPMs. And the third shift point, off by only about uh, 75 RPMs, or about 80 RPMs. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned something about how to use the audio uh, contained within a video to figure out how and where a car shifted. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.